everyone, I'm Ken Nesbitt, and over the coming weeks, I am going to be sharing some poetry writing lessons on video to teach you how you can make poems of your own. Today, I'm going to be talking about acrostics. Uh, I'll explain what acrostics are, I'll show you some examples, and we'll actually step through the process of creating an acrostic poem today so that you can then take this information and create some of your own. Okay, so first, let's talk about what an acrostic is. An acrostic is a form of poem, and by the way, form is just a word that poets use to mean a, a type or a kind or a style of poem. Form means a set of rules for how you write that particular poem. So an acrostic is a form of poem that is really easy to write because it only has one single rule. And that rule is that the first letters of each line of the poem spell out a word or a phrase. Now, that word or phrase can be just about anything. It can be a name. It could be your name, someone else's name. It could be a thing, like, say, something that you like or something that you don't like or a place. Pretty much anything you like. Now, commonly, that first letter of each line is also capitalized. You don't have to do this, it is not a rule, but if you capitalize the first letters of each line, what that does is it helps your word or phrase stand out and be more easily seen, and so that uh, will help people identify your poem as an acrostic poem. Poems, acrostic poems, do not have to rhyme. You can rhyme them if you want to, but I think you'll find that it's easier if you don't worry about rhyming and only focus on getting words and ideas that fill out the first letters of each line. And so then, really, all you have to figure out is what would you like to write an acrostic about? Now, I decided I wanted to write an acrostic about something that I like, and something that I like is ice cream. So, here is my little example acrostic about ice cream. I love every flavor. Cookies and cream, English toffee, chocolate chip, rocky road, even strawberry, and plain old vanilla. Mmm. Now, if you look at this acrostic, you will see that the first letters of each line spell out the words ice cream. And really, that's all there is to creating an acrostic poem. So let's see about creating an acrostic poem of our own today. First thing you need to do is pick a topic. Maybe use your name, or maybe use your favorite thing, your favorite sport, your favorite food, your favorite video game. Or maybe even write about something that you don't like. Then write that word down vertically. Vertically just means from top to bottom. So instead of writing it from left to right, you'll write one letter below the other until you've written down your entire word or phrase. Then you want to brainstorm words or ideas that have something to do with your topic. And when you're all done brainstorming ideas, Find the words that you can use that have the right letters on them and put them in place in your poem. <laughs> that might sound like a lot, but let's step through it. So, I decided that I would like to write an acrostic about something that I don't like, and that thing is homework. So the first thing I did was I wrote the word homework down vertically on the page, one letter below the other until I've got the whole word written down. Now, the next step is to brainstorm ideas because writing acrostics is all about brainstorming. It's about coming up with other words and other phrases that have something to do with your topic. Now, you should then think of as many words, as many ideas as you possibly can, and just start writing them down. Maybe get a second piece of paper to write your ideas down on. Uh, you want to think of as many words as you can even more than you're going to need. Like the word homework has eight letters in it, but I thought of a bunch more that I could use than that. Uh, and that way you've got 
multiple different ideas to choose from for any given line. And remember, write down all your ideas, even if they don't start with letters that you need. Okay, so back to our homework acrostic. We've got the word written down vertically. Now we just need to brainstorm some ideas, come up with some other words and phrases that have to do with homework. Well, here are a few that I thought of. Hard to do, overwhelming, the teacher says I have to do it every single day, there's lots of reading. Now, you might notice that some of those words, hard, overwhelming, every, those start with letters that are in the word homework, H-O-E. Lots of reading though, that starts with an L. We probably can't use that just as is, but maybe we could use reading. Let's keep going. What else have we got? There's writing, there's math. <sighs> I'd rather be watching television. <laughs> and uh, sometimes it makes me just a little bit crazy. Okay, so now let's take all of these ideas and put them into the right places and see what we come up with. Hard to do and sometimes overwhelming. My teacher gives us homework every single day. Writing for hours or reading for hours? Kids need a break. And there you go. That is all there is to creating an acrostic of your own. Now, all you need to do to get started is figure out what you would like to write your acrostic poem about. What are your ideas? Write about something you like. Write about something you don't like. Or just pick, take your first name and write it down and come up with some ideas that have to do with you and make your own acrostic. Thanks and good luck.